In this video, we'll discuss carbon dioxide narcosis, effects produced by carbon dioxide narcosis, and the treatment of carbon dioxide narcosis. So, what's carbon dioxide narcosis? Normally, high carbon dioxide and low oxygen stimulates respiratory center. Receptor becomes intolerant to high carbon dioxide that causes hyper. Carbia. A carbon dioxide level of more than 70 millimeters of mercury causes carbon dioxide narcosis. Say for example, in pulmonary failure, very high carbon dioxide, more than 70 millimeters of mercury. Instead of stimulating the respiratory center, carbon dioxide presses the respiratory center and CNS. It acts like a general anesthetic when in very high concentration and causes cortical depression. So how these patients get respiratory drive? These patients get respiratory drive from hypoxic stimulation of the chemoreceptor but only when oxygen level becomes less than 60 millimeters of mercury. So giving too much oxygen to these patients may inhibit their respiratory drive and stop the breathing. What are the features of carbon dioxide narcosis? It depresses CNS and the respiratory center. It causes slow shallow breathing drowsiness, hypotonia, hyporeflexia, coma, increased intracranial pressure and papillinitema and there is increased production of CSF. Why there is increased CSF production in CO2 narcosis? Cerebral vasodilatation causes increased CSF production leading to increased intracranial pressure and papillinitema. Increased carbon dioxide causes cerebral vasodilatation and vasodilatation in other parts of the body except Except, except where except in the lung in the lung it causes vasoconstriction so vasoconstriction in the pulmonary vasculature so vasodilatation causes sweating tachycardia and there is also hypertension in carbon dioxide narcosis why there is hypertension hypertension is due to sympathetic stimulation what's the effect of increased alveolar pco2 and how it causes carbon dioxide narcosis when alveolar pco2 is more than 7% arterial pco2 rises abruptly despite ventilation and produces hypercarbia causing carbon dioxide narcosis. So what's the treatment of carbon dioxide narcosis? In chronic hypercarbia, respiration relies on hypoxic stimulation of chemoreceptors. Chemoreceptor stimulation by hypoxia is the only source that increases the breathing in these patients. And hypoxia only stimulates breathing when PO2 is less than 60 millimeters of mercury. Removal of hypoxia by giving oxygen to these patients may stop the breathing. Oxygen administration of more than 50% for more than 24 hours may be toxic. Oxygen should be given at a low concentration of less than 30%. In narcosis, titrate oxygen to the lowest effective dose based on ABG monitoring. And in severe cases, not responding to that, mechanical ventilation. 